Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So real quick, I got a word for y'all today. This word is for somebody who is just now coming to the realization that the way that you've been doing life, uh, your way ain't working. Yeah, uh, that is a sobering um, moment when you realize that you don't waste it like five, 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30, 40. I mean, I can keep going. I mean, it's a sobering point in your life and a sobering moment when you look and you realize that you have wasted and squandered years, decades of your life from doing things your way and doing things the way of the world and doing things any way that's contrary to how God told you to do it. So this word today is for somebody who is really just experiencing that sobering moment and just coming to the realization that life, doing life your way ain't working. And it's a moment that most children of God have come to. Most of us have gone astray and come back and had to have that sobering moment and realization that, hey, doing it this way is not working. If I stay down this path, it's not going to be good for me, right? And so this word today is for somebody who has come to that moment of realization, right? And it's frustrating when you look at your life and you look up and you say, what did I do with the last five years? What did I do with the last, <laughs> what did I do with the last 15 years of my life? I've been doing the same thing. Either I've been staying at the same level or I've been going downhill, but one thing that I haven't been doing is growing. And that's what I want to talk about today is that when you have that sobering moment and you realize that doing life your way is not working for you, right? And you realize that you got to do something different because if you don't do something different, you're going to keep going down and you certainly don't want to keep staying the same. The goal is to move up. The goal is to grow. And that's my word for today is that when you walk with God and you make a conscious decision that you're going to do life his way, you're going to be obedient. You're going to do what he tells you to do. When you make that decision in your life, guess what's going to happen? You going to grow. You're not going to stay the same. You're not going to decline that does not mean that you're not going to have bad things happen that doesn't mean that you're not going to have rough patches okay that's going to happen to anybody but you are going to grow when you choose to do life god's way you are going to be transformed you don't want to stay the same for the next 15 20 or 30 years and you certainly don't want to experience any more decline in your life. So this word today is simply to let you know that when you make the decision that you want to change your life, when you start off with just making a decision that you want to change and that you want to be better and that you want to walk with God and that you want to talk with God, right? When you do that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to look up a year later. If you stick with that now, if you stick with that mentality and you stick with God and you continue to walk and talk with him, right? If you stick with him and you remain diligent, guess what's going to happen? In a year, you're going to look and say, you know what? A year ago, I remember when I was in this place, but look where God brought me from. Uh, if you stick with God, right? And you remain diligent five years from now, you're going to look back and say, Lord, I remember when I was getting ready to just give up, throw in the towel, uh, end it all right five years ago, but thank God that I didn't because I stuck with God and by sticking with him and walking with him and talking with him, guess what? You're going to look back and you're going to say, my God, have I grown? That's my word for today. I want somebody to understand that when you choose to walk with God, uh, the world will tell you that you're missing out on fun. The world will tell you that you're not going to be able to do anything that you love to do anymore. The world is going to tell you, make it seem like it's the worst thing in the world when you choose to change and you choose to start walking with God. But that's actually the opposite. That's the deceit of the world and the deceit of the enemy to make you feel like you're going to be losing out if you choose to walk with God. That you're going to be losing out. If you choose to not do certain things anymore, the enemy and the world will tell you that you're going to be losing out if you do that. In actuality, that is a lie. And it's the opposite of the truth. The truth of the matter is, is that God is going to show you true fun, right? Those things that you were doing that felt like fun, they were not fun. Those people you were hanging around, those were not your friends. God is going to elevate you to a point where you are doing healthy things in your life, healthy relationships, healthy habits 
healthy tendencies. These are the things that God has in store for you, but you got to make a decision in your mind to say, you know what? Doing it my way, doing it the way of the world is not working for me. And I am going to submit myself to God. And when you do that, you are going to grow. I'm going to leave you with a, a scripture today. It is Romans, the 12th chapter and the second verse. And it reads, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. When you walk with God and you talk with God, you put your head down, you get away from the distractions, you focus on God, you meditate on his word. When you do these things, right? When you put your head down or you look straight ahead and you forget everything on the side and you spend a long time with God and you make a decision that you want to change your life, you are going to be transformed. And most importantly, you are going to grow. I love you. I am Grace Amber. I'll be right back on real soon.